At the climax of the Clone Wars, the newly formed Empire was at its most vulnerable. After a galaxy-wide civil war, the dissolving of a thousand-year government, and the reconciliation of various CIS systems, let's just say things were tenuous at best. The first class of Imperial cadets loyal to the new regime arrive on Coruscant. The headmaster of the various academies was Gentis, a war hero of the Clone Wars. None more devout than Cadet Thome. After the ceremony, all the graduates were sent to rub elbows with the upper echelon of Imperial society. Gentis informed Thome that the Valedictorian was being hand-selected to work with Tarkin on a top-secret project. Two of his friends and classmates would be tasked with getting him back to his apartment to rest up. The duel would trick Thome into test driving a prototype TIE fighter, locking him in. His classmates abandoned him, and his only choice was to emergency eject his seat, giving him a front row seat for the destruction of key sites on Coruscant as explosions ignited. Vader cut through the attackers. Thome hastily grabbed a trooper's sidearm to help the Dark Lord as he crushed attackers with a crumpled statue. To Thome's surprise, he recognized a whimpering voice as his classmate begged for his help. It was a coup. 